Let's get back to that deadly ISI, uh, ISIS-K terror attack. It killed more than 130 people in Moscow over the weekend. Retired U.S. Army Colonel Joe Paccio uh, joins me now. Uh, Colonel, you were the former director, you are the former director of CENTCOM. That's a very important position. Did you see this attack coming? Well, uh, Stu, last year, U.S. Central Command, the command uh, where I served as communications director, we informed the Senate Armed Services Committee that in early 2024, ISIS, ISIS-K, which is the external facing arm of ISIS, would have the ability to attack inside Europe, okay? And then we saw this attack inside Europe, in Eastern Europe, and that by the end of 2024, ISIS-K would have the ability to attack inside the United States. And so, yes, the intelligence community did see this attack coming. And of course, you know, Moscow was warned two weeks prior to this attack. So the intelligence community did see this coming. Now, do you think, in your opinion, will ISIS attack inside America? From what you know, is a, an attack likely here? ISIS has global aspirations, Stu. Uh, you know that, you know, ISIS would like a spectacular attack. Right now, I think their eye is on Paris. You, know, you just look at their social media yesterday, actually. Yesterday, their social media uh, purported an attack on Paris. We know we've got the Olympic Games this summer. That would be a big target, a global stage, a global audience. But, you know, ISIS-K, they want to attack inside the United States. Here in the United States, our intelligence community, Customs and Border Protection, Department of Homeland Security, National Security Council, they're all taking this very seriously, Stu, as they should, as you know they should. But we don't know who crossed our southern border, do we? The, what is it, 600,000 gotaways? We don't know who they are. They could, I mean, presumably, you think that some are members of ISIS, right? You're really honing in on it, Stu. That is the softest point of entry, okay? That is the weakest point. And so that's really where I, we believe ISIS-K would target. We believe that's where they would enter. Uh, once they enter, of course, they'd have to galvanize, they'd have to organize, get, get weapons. But it wouldn't really be that complicated. You know, you wouldn't really need, require that many uh, members. You wouldn't need that much weaponry uh, for attack inside the homeland. But Stu, you know, our intelligence community is, is, is monitoring this, taking it very seriously. Okay. One quick question for you, if I may, from your knowledge Stu. of what's going on here. Do you think Russia is winning the war in Ukraine? Yes. This is a, a moment where Russia, Stu, can just throw mass at this problem until Ukraine breaks. Ukraine, they're, they're consolidating ammunition. They're trying to galvanize conscripts. They're, they're fighting with older... Uh, older troops now. Russia now has every advantage two years into this. They have advantage of size. They have advantage of speed. A and really, they can continue to push on this. They can throw mass at this problem until Ukraine breaks. Got it. Um, Joe Boccino, thanks very much for joining us, Joe. We appreciate it. We enjoy hearing your inside knowledge. Good stuff. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Stu. Thanks so much.